Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see maximum power transfer theorem for AC circuits. The statement here is, in any linear bilateral network consisting of active and passive elements, the maximum power is transferred from source to load impedance only when load impedance is equal to complex conjugate of the source impedance. So unlike uh, DC circuits, so in AC circuits we have impedances there in the circuit. So here uh, this is a network that is consisting of active and passive elements with load impedance that can be replaced with a Thevenin equivalent circuit having a Thevenin voltage and a Thevenin impedance along with the load impedance as it is. So now uh, to get the maximum power transfer from source to load, the load impedance value should be is equal to a complex conjugate of the source impedance. So we'll see steps to find the maximum power transfer theorem uh, parameters. So first convert the given network into Thevenin equivalent network consisting of a voltage source with series internal impedance and load impedance. That means the given network consisting of uh, uh, so many active and passive elements. So the entire network can be replaced with a Thevenin equivalent circuit consisting of a Thevenin voltage source and a Thevenin impedance and load impedance connected. Now uh, the condition uh, to transfer the maximum power transfer is load impedance is equal to complex conjugate of the source impedance. So calculate this ZL value if it is asked in the problem. So in case of DC we have only load resistance but in case of AC we have to calculate load impedance. So that should be the complex conjugate of the source impedance. Now the formula to calculate the maximum power transferred is Pm is equal to Vth square by 4 into RL that is Thevenin voltage uh, square by 4 into load uh, resistance value itself. Here we have to take load resistance only not uh, load impedance because uh, the resistive part is the only amount of actual power that is uh, uh, dissipated. So that is we are taking here Vth square by 4 into RL here. Now we will see the derivation for the condition for maximum power transfer and the amount of maximum power. That means, so how these two conditions are obtained, that is ZL is equal to uh, ZTH conjugate and the amount of maximum power, we will see the derivation here. So from the equivalent circuit of Thevenin, so VTH and ZTH along with the load impedance, if you apply the current in this loop, I is, IL is equal to VTH, square, VTH by ZTH plus ZL. So we know uh, impedance is a summation of resistance and reactance therefore RTH plus JXTH is nothing but ZTH and ZL is equal to RL plus JXL. So now uh, taking uh, summations of resistive and reactive part RTH plus RL plus J into XTH plus XL. So the magnitude of current is he here so it is VTH per root over RTH plus RL whole square plus XTH plus XL whole square. So after calculating the current, the power transfer to the resistive load is IL square into RL. So therefore by putting the current relation, so we are getting the power relation as like this. Now to get the condition for maximum power transfer, so differentiate the above power equation with respect to XL uh, with fixed RL as a constant and uh, equate to zero. That means here impedance is consisting of uh, load impedance is consisting of uh, two terms ZL, RL and uh, JXL. Now we have to uh, do two times of uh, derivations here. First by fixing RL by varying XL we have to do the derivation and second case so by varying this XL uh, by fixing this XL and varying this RL we have to do the derivations uh, for the to calculate the nature of uh, resistive and reactive part. So for that first we are fixing the RL value and varying the XL so that so DP by DXL is equal to 0. So for that upon doing the derivations here we are getting the relation XTH plus XL is equal to 0 from this XL value is equal to minus XTH. That means the reactance of load is uh, same as that of the Thevenin's reactance magnitude but opposite in direction, opposite in sign. That means the magnitude of XL and magnitude of XTH should be same but having a opposite sign. So similarly uh, to find the resistive part we have to vary the uh, resistance uh, of load and fixing the XL value. So now dp by drl is equal to 0. So now with respect to RL if it is a derivation so we are getting 
and also we have to put the condition here xl is equal to minus xth after putting this condition so after simplifying finally we are getting rth value is equal to rl that means load resistance is equal to source resistance so upon uh, uh, clubbing the two uh, resistive and uh, uh, reactive part the impedance should be here load impedance is nothing but uh, rl plus j into xl here so where rl is nothing but rth and xl is nothing but minus j x t h this is nothing but z t h conjugate so therefore uh, load impedance is equal to complex conjugate of the source impedance so under the maximum power transfer conditions so this relation holds good under maximum power transfer conditions therefore by using the relation uh, if you find the current here under the maximum power conditions IL is equal to VTH by root over RTH plus RL whole square plus XTH plus XL whole square and also we do the relation here XTH is equal to uh, minus XL or XL is equal to minus XTH so from this this term is vanishes therefore IL value is equal to uh, root over RTH plus RL whole square also RL is equal to RTH here so by putting this relation also we are getting the IL value as uh, VTH by 2 into RL so since we need the maximum power condition maximum power value so by putting this here in the maximum power condition maximum power relation so we're getting the maximum power as vth square by 4 into rl and the efficiency during this maximum power transfer condition c is 50 percent because there is no change in the maximum power transfer uh, in ac circuits as well as in dc circuits therefore under the maximum power transfer conditions the efficiency is only 50 percent now we will see a problem based on this so find the load impedance and maximum power if the maximum power is transferred to load impedance so here zl is the load impedance so he want the value of this zl and also the amount of maximum power transfer therefore to get this uh, we have to remove this zl to form an open circuit and we have to find the open circuit voltage here so this entire network that can be replaced with the thevenin equivalent circuit so therefore for this we, we need to calculate the voltage across this branch that is nothing but the Thevenin voltage or open circuit voltage therefore since there is no current flowing in the 6 ohms it is acting as a dummy so if you find the current in this loop so the current can be calculated as a 2.77 at an angle 33.7 amps therefore VOC can be given as I into 3 minus J4 that is uh, 13.87 at an angle minus 19.44 Volts. So this is the Thevenin voltage. Now to calculate the Thevenin resistance, we have to deactivate the sources. Since we have only one voltage source, we have to make it as a short circuit. And the equivalent circuit is shown here. So from this uh, uh, load side, if we calculate the uh, ZTH, that is the load impedance value. So uh, since these two are in parallel, and this combination is in series with 6 ohms, therefore ZTH can be calculated as a 7.4 at an angle. 20.7 ohms in polar form in rectangular form it is 6.92 plus 2.62 j ohms so to, as per maximum power transfer theorem for ac circuits uh, the maximum power is transferred from source to load only when so load impedance is equal to complex conjugate of the source impedance since it is a, a source impedance value its complex conjugate is a 6.92 minus 2.62 j uh, this is in rectangular form and this is in the polar form Therefore, after calculating the uh, ZL value, the maximum power can be given by the formula VOC square by 4 into RL. So that can be given as 6.95 watts. Thank you.